today we'll be reviewing the Natasha Denona Mini Sendo palette, eyeshadow palette, um, for the from the holiday collection. And I have to say that I am quite impressed with its performance. So this is how the palette looks with the five colors that are stark, bare, striped, dazed, and uncovered. And okay, here's a close-up of the colors. So beautiful. So I'm going to start with my Sueva 228 in the shadow Days. This one right here for my transition color. Such a pretty subtle skin tone f for my skin tone. So I really like it. And then I'm going to deepen it with the shadow uncovered. This one here. Right here. Using the same brush. To deepen the crease. I'm gonna dip back into that shade again, uncovered, with my 228 Soeva. I really like this brand of brushes. It's like mid-range and very accessible for beginners such as myself. And the brushes are just really, really nice. I think that's intense enough. Now we're going to go with the shiny colors. Um, let's see. I think I want to use this shadow days on the inner third of my lid. And I'm going to use my Sigma E25 for that. It's a really shiny metallic shade. And let's see how it goes on the inner corner. I dip, I'm dipping back again. Oh, this color is really pretty. Days. And for the outer third, I'm going to use my 230 Soeva Lux pencil in the shadow Stark. This one right here for the outer corner. And it's going to be like a little bit of a halo look. Oh, it's really pigmented. I like it. The shadows by Natasha Denona are made in Italy. Some people want to know where the shadows are made. For their general knowledge so that's where these ones are made and now with my finger I'm gonna take the shade stripped this beautiful one here in the middle 
and apply it in the center of my eye. Oh, this is my favorite shade. I bought this palette because of this shade and it's not disappointing. The color payoff is beautiful. Okay, I'm gonna do my other eye off camera and the rest of my face makeup and we're gonna come back with the final thoughts on this palette. And I hope you do you will enjoy the look that I'm creating. Here's a close-up of the final look on both eyes. And I have to say I am quite impressed by the performance of this palette. It's really beautiful, very subtle, yet very glam. So I would definitely recommend it if you are thinking about it for your holiday collection. Definitely try it. This palette is a 1010. Absolutely beautiful colors, um, wonderful color payoff, excellent blendability. The quality is top notch. I just can't say enough good things about it. And since we're on the topic of Natasha Denona, I also used to complete my look, the Me Bronze and Glow. It's quite small, but I thought I would show it to you. The colors are beautiful and it enhances the look so, so well. I applied a little bit of bronzer here and a little bit of highlighter and I think it really looks very, very nice. Um, other products I use um, today for my lips, I use this Nude Stick uh, Lip Plush Paint in Paprika. Um, I used this Maybelline Mascara, the Colossal. Um, I also use this NYX uh, Can't Stop, Won't Stop uh, Concealer. And I used the um, Tinted Brow Mascara for doing my eyebrows. And that's about it. Oh yeah, and for foundation, I used a sample from Purito, um, a Korean skincare brand. That, and I think I'm going to purchase the, the full size because I think it really matches my skin complexion pretty well. So all in all, I really enjoyed um, creating this look for you guys. And let me know what you think uh, about the Natasha Denona Mini Sendo Palette in the comments. And uh, yeah, I forgot another product I used was the e.l.f. Poreless Putty Primer that I had seen a lot of YouTubers using and raving about. And honestly, it's really, really, really great. It's a really great base for your uh, makeup and foundation. So yeah, have a nice day and I hope you enjoyed this video. Subscribe if you can. Thank you.